YouTube. Today I'm doing my first what I melted recently video. I have decided to not do Friday weekly melts anymore because I really just don't melt enough in my opinion to do that video and it's short and yeah. So I'm going to do when I fill up two pages in my little notebook that is when I'm going to do a video. So this is my first one and in these videos I'm going to tell you what I melted it in. I have an 18 watt warmer, two Scentsy warmers, and a wall plug-in from Better Homes and Gardens. And I'm also going to tell you how much I put in. If I put in a fourth of a tar, or if I put in two cubes, or etc, etc. I'm going to tell you how long it lasted, sometimes. Because for some of these tarts, I wasn't here the whole time. So, I kind of tell you it lasted however long I was here. If I say it lasted five hours, Chances are it probably lasted more than five hours, but I left at that five hour mark. So I'm not going to tell you it lasted 12 hours when I was only here for five hours of it. So on some of them I'll tell you how long they lasted, and on some of them I won't. Um, also, I'm going to tell you guys if I would recommend and if I would repurchase each of these tarts. So, let's get started. The first one is Iced Cinnamon Roll from Kim's. This was very, very spicy. It was also very strong. Um, when I say spicy, I mean cinnamony. Uh, I don't get any icing from this. I just get pretty much straight up cinnamon with a little bit of bakery. Um, this one lasted about 10 hours. I think I was here the whole time, or I went to sleep, and when I woke up, I could still smell it. Which a lot of these I also fall asleep while they're melting. And so when I wake up, if I still smell them, I write down that time. And if not, then I can't really give you how long they lasted for. But on this one, I would not personally repurchase it because I'm not huge on cinnamon scents. But if you do like cinnamon scents, I would definitely recommend this because it is very strong. And I put one tart, so I put two of the little halves because I cut them up, in my 18 watt warmer. Next, I melted Granny's Country Candles Lemon Drop, and I melted a fourth of this in my 18 watt warmer. This lasted for me about five hours. I do believe I went to sleep at the five hour mark, so I can't tell you if it lasted any longer than that. And this one was absolutely amazing. I only, Like I said, I only put in a fourth, and it was super strong. You really got the lemon and the cookie. It was like sugar cookie. Oh my goodness. I cannot even tell you guys how great this was. So this is a definite repurchase and a definite recommend for me. The next one was a Better Homes and Gardens Baked Apple Strudel. I put two cubes of this in my 18 watt warmer. And I have a little story for this. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my video where I mentioned that I did melt my green apple from Better Homes and Gardens and it smelled burnt, it didn't give off any apple scent, and this one did the same thing. So, the epiphany that I had, I'm not sure if I even used that word right, but it's a cool word to use, is that these don't do good in hot plate warmers. I don't know if they get too hot for it, or what, because all of the ones I melted in my Scentsy do just amazing they do so good but this is the second one that I melted in there and they both did the exact same thing so I'm going to try to melt this in my Scentsy and I'll give you guys a better description explanation of it when I do that because I have excited ugh, I have decided to not melt these in my 18 watt anymore the next one is Better Homes and Gardens chilled berry bellini and this one I did melt in the Scentsy and it was very very strong I get so much peach from this that I just, I don't know if peach, if like Bellini means peach, like I know that there's peach Bellini from uh, Bath and Body Works, and I just get peach from this. I really don't get berry. Um, I put one cube of this in my Scentsy Warmer in the bathroom, and it lasted me about two days. So this one's really good. Um, for this one, I would recommend it, but personally I would probably not repurchase it because I get a lot of peach, and I like peach, but I'm not a humongous fan of it, and it was just, it was a lot of peach. 
The next one I melted was Granny's Country Candles Island Christmas. This one was very, very fruity and tropical. I wouldn't melt this in Christmas, like around Christmas time, just because it just doesn't say winter, fall, or anything to me. It really does just say summer. So I decided to melt it. I put one cube of it in my 18 watt warmer. Uh, no, two cubes, not one. I put two cubes in my 18 watt warmer and it smelled really good. It lasted about 12 hours, I believe. Um, and I would definitely recommend this. Repurchasing it? Probably not. I would rather just get a summer fruity scent. Uh, the name just really throws me off of this. I don't like that it's named Island Christmas. I just want it to be named island and then I'd probably repurchase it. I don't know but the name just completely throws me off on that one. Um, the next one that I melted was from Carolina Candles and it is Tahi Tahi Plumera. I really hope that's how you say it. I picked this and two other ones of this brand up from Dylan's Marketplace. I don't know if you guys have a Dylan's. It's the same thing as a Kroger. Um, but I melted one cube of this in the wall plug-in uh, downstairs in our small bathroom, and it's been going for about two or three days now, still going strong. So this one is super good. Um, I would definitely recommend it, and I would personally repurchase it. I do not like florals, and this one is just delish. It smells so good. I can't even tell you guys. The next one I melted was... Tiffany Candles Monkey Kisses, and I don't have a lot to say about this one because I didn't get a whole lot of scent. I actually, I believe I cut it up into fours, and so I put four of them in, so I put in a whole tart into my 18 watt warmer, and I just did not get any scent off of it, so I can't really tell you a whole lot about it. The next one I melted was Granny's Country Candles Sun Kissed. And I put a fourth of it in. You can see there's only a fourth gone. I put it in my um, Scentsy Warmer in the bathroom. And it lasted like two days. It was so good. And in a really small bathroom with a really small amount of it, it, it was light. Like, when you went in, you could smell it. And I could smell it outside of the bathroom. But when I went in, it wasn't overpowering. And that's something I really, really like about Granny's Country Candles is they're strong, but they're not overpowering. Um, so I would definitely repurchase, and I would definitely recommend this one. On this one, I would not repurchase it. I didn't purchase it, and I would not recommend it just because, personally, I did not get any scent off of it. If you did, that's awesome. And I will still try that in a Scentsy Warmer before I completely give up on it. The next one I melted was from Front Porch and it is Strawberry Blueberry Bread. This one was amazing. It smelled so good and it was so strong but it only lasted about three hours. So I would recommend the scent. I would not repurchase it at all. I, if I could find it from somewhere else I would definitely repurchase it but it was not worth only three hours of scent, in my opinion. And I just decided to put all the empties in this little star container. If you guys are wondering where I got that, I'm pretty sure you can pick them up at any Dollar Tree. I, I'm almost 100% sure that's where I got it. I have a bunch of them, so I don't remember. Um, the next one I melted was Meyer Lemon from Yankee Candle. And I just decided I had been having no luck with Yankee Candle, but I'd only been using like a half or something. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to just chuck the whole votive in there. Of course, I pulled out the wax, or the wick, the wax. I pulled out the wick and then I just threw the whole votive in there and I just did not get anything. When I went in about an hour or two later, I could smell it when I first came in. But then after that, I just could not smell it. I just don't know what is wrong with Yankee Candles and me. Um, but I pretty much have completely given up on it. I'm going to put them in a swap box or round robin or something because they just do not work for me. So I would not repurchase and I would not recommend Yankee Candle in general. Like I said, if you guys had a better experience with her or her with <laughs> Yankee Candle, that's great and I'm so happy for you, but they're just not for me. The next one I melted 
was from my Shays since that I just received. It was Cherry Limeade, and it was a little tiny sunny sampler. I think it was 0.5 ounces, and oh my gosh, this was so good. I'm so glad that I have another one, and I decided to buy two. It was really, really strong for about five hours, and then I fell asleep, so I don't know what it did after that. Um, but I would definitely recommend and I would definitely repurchase this. I melted the whole tart in my 18 watt warmer and it was just so, so good. It just, it smelled exactly like what it says. It, it was a little heavier on cherry than the limeade, but the lime did come through and it was just awesome. The next one I melted was Tiffany's Strawberry Shortcake. I melted one tart in my Scentsy warmer downstairs and it smelt okay um, I could smell it for about two hours and then I just didn't really smell it so this one I would not repurchase which again I didn't purchase it and I would also not recommend it um, I have to say that Tiffany's and Yankee are both things that I see a lot of people talk about and they're both things that I have not had a great experience with so if I'm doing something wrong, someone let me know because I just, I didn't get a good scent throw out of the 18 watt warmer or out of my Scentsy for Tiffany's. So I don't know. The next one was Sweet Fixations Fruit Loops. I melted half of it in my 18 watt warmer and I put it in around 4 o'clock in the morning because I am a night owl. And I fell asleep to it. It was so good. Oh my gosh, it smelled so delicious. Just like Fruit Loops. You know, I don't need to explain that. Um, I would definitely recommend this and I would 110% repurchase this. Which I didn't purchase it, but I would purchase it. I love Fruit Loops. It smelled so good. And then the last one I melted... I actually just put this in was Sex on the Beach by Granny's Country Candles. I know it says made by hand, but it is Granny's Country Candles. And I went ahead and I just popped the whole tart in. I don't think I've ever done that before because I really like to save my scents, but I have another one of these, so I was like, sure, why not? And I melted it downstairs in my Scentsy, and I actually just put it in about an hour ago, and it smelled super, super good. Our downstairs area is a, is a larger area, so it's hard for the scent to go everywhere, I think, with anything I've ever put in there. And this one does a great job. I was in the next room, and I could smell it. And to me, it kind of has a hint of bubble gum. Like, it, I was like, I don't know. It just smelled like bubble gum to me. I don't think I need to explain it. But that was my um, recently melted waxes. So I want to thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out my video about my party and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!